Good afternoon, Kristen Collins on Wellbeing Wednesday. Wonderful as always to reconnect with you guys. And today I'm coming at you from my new home as I'm getting settled in. And the theme for me this week for Wellbeing Wednesday continues to be about embracing the insanity and the dishevelment um, that life can throw you and how do we adjust and adapt and how do we thrive optimally with our health and well-being when there's so many conditions that are out of our control or that were unexpected. So I want to congratulate some groups that are getting really innovative through the disruption and coming up with new ways to connect and move forward with their endeavors. Um, first and foremost this evening, I'm going to be blessed to be on a Zoom happy hour with the Pace Center for Girls. And just a, a huge shout out to um, Diana Willis and Gail Markham who are leading this endeavor this evening. Uh, it was really sweet. On Monday, I was hand delivered a bottle of wine and uh, some wine charms and some cookies um, to prepare for this happy hour by Diana Willis. And it just really warmed my heart to uh, think about the innovation that you guys are leading um, to connect us and still celebrate the great work that the Pace Center for Girls does, but you're disrupting how historically you have convened your supporters. So I'm really looking forward to that this evening. And then after that, I'm gonna be able to connect with John and Martha up in Brooklyn who are launching this movement called Breaking Bread. And I had the pleasure of being a part of a gathering, a Zoom dinner, where we literally were breaking bread in this unconventional way via Zoom. And it was really wonderful to connect with different people from around the globe in this intimate dinner setting. And so tonight they're gonna to be hosting a gathering in preparation of training other hosts. So big shout out to John and Martha, who I had the pleasure of meeting through Sean Harvey, um, on how to be innovative and, and again, convene and connect people. And then the, the last shout out I wanna to give today is to my friend Lori with Lake Michigan Credit Union, who's chairing once again this year, the Make-A-Wish Walk. And, you know, uh, Make-A-Wish and, and these walks for other organizations as well, um, are losing all this money and all this fundraising capacity in their budget because we can't get together. So I am excited that I'm gonna be participating as an honorary um, speaker for Saturday's Make-A-Wish Walk because it's now gonna be a virtual Zoom. So again, congratulations to Lori and to Make-A-Wish for thinking outside the box. So that was my reflection today as I was preparing to connect with you guys. And so my question to you is, how are you innovating and embracing this disruption to create new paradigms, to create new realities, and to go ahead and therefore satiate your optimal well being? I am definitely in the middle of this transition, and my schedule is so off. So off. My sleep is off. My meditation is off. My exercise is off. I've been lifting heavy, heavy stuff, walking up and down stairs um, every day, all day, I'm exhausted. And I said this morning, okay, it's been a week, I have to, have to, have to start getting back on track. So I'm sharing that with you today because I know I'm not the only one who's having these, you know, totally throw me off the tracks experiences. I wanna ask, how are you getting back on track? How are you revisiting the disruptions and deciding, is this who I wanna be? What new opportunities are there now with these unexpected disruptions? And am I getting back to baseline? Am I taking care of myself emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually? And I have just had this week where I'm not taking care of myself in those capacities and I feel it you know, to my core. So this week's message is to just be transparent that I too have challenges with my well-being. And how are you embracing the disruption to go ahead and get yourself back on track? Meanwhile, embracing potential new ways to go ahead and thrive. So with that, thank you guys so much for connecting on Wellbeing Wednesday. And as always, I so appreciate your comments, your touch-ins, and your support. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week 
hopefully a little more centered and back on track. We'll see. Have a great week. Bye.